<laughs> Gross. Oh, it smells horrible. What's happening guys? Thanks for swinging through J Random Vlogs off the bike today. We're gonna show you guys how to clean your gross motorcycle helmet liner up. So let's jump right to it. So today I'm gonna to be cleaning out the liner of my Icon Alliance GT helmet. Of course they all vary, but uh, most of them these days have the removable liner, which makes it super easy. So step one is removing the helmet liner itself. Of course, helmets vary, so if you have your owner's manual for yours, check it out, but they're usually just in there with some plastic snap buttons and some Velcro pieces to keep it into place. So once you got your helmet liner pieces taken out, we move along to step two, which is the actual cleaning process of them. There's a couple ways to do this. The easiest way is to, of course, machine wash them. To do that, you wanna just take your liner pieces and throw them into a delicates bag like this and wash them in your washing machine under the delicate or gentle cycle with some mild detergent. The other important tip that you wanna keep in mind is to use like lukewarm water. So you don't wanna use the hot water temperature setting thinking that I wanna flush all the grime out, The the hot water temp will mess up the dimensions when you go to fit back the liner piece, so don't use hot water. The other option is to do it the old school way and hand wash them out, which really isn't that difficult and works just as well. That's what I'm gonna be showing you guys here today. So I'm just getting the water warm enough to thoroughly clean the pads out here, but not crazy hot. And as far as the soap, I'm using Johnson's Baby Wash here. I just like a mild soap to clean out the pads and nothing that's super harsh or strong fragrance wise. So soak the pads thoroughly, work that soap in there, rinse it out, just keep repeating that process until you notice the grime stops coming out of the thing, and just do that for all your liner pieces. So now that your helmet liner is all clean, we're on the step three, which is letting it dry out. You wanna hang it up or just throw it on a rack like this to air dry. Again, you don't wanna use any additional heat for the reasons that we had mentioned earlier with the washing process. If you're gonna do anything, you can just place it next to a fan like this. That way the airflow and the stuff will speed up the drying process a little bit for you. Once your liner pieces are totally dried out, you're on to the fourth and final step, just reassembling everything and you're ready to ride. That's about it for this one, guys. Thanks again for swinging through J Random Vlogs. Hopefully you found this tutorial informative and straight to the point. If you dug it, please subscribe to my channel, share and like the video. It really helps me out a lot. Catch you on the next episode, guys. Till then, ride safe and ride not smelly. Later.